welcome, welcome to, to Giant's, Giant's Causeway. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. We're excited. Damn right we are. Very excited. <laughs> right, today we're off to... Causeway. Giant's Causeway. Giant's Sorry, yeah. Causeway. Somewhere we've both always wanted to yes. go. Um, it's like octagonal shaped pillars. Natural formed. Millions of them. Yeah. It's going to look good anyway. Yeah. So it is... <coughs> excuse me. A bit chesty today. Oh. It is free, but there is a big charge to park. Um, it's a National Trust site, and you have to pay to get into the centre or something. It's got like an exhibition centre and a car park, and I think it's £12 each. Yes. People have been saying, which is a lot of money. We've had a lot of advice on this now, haven't we? Yes. Um, people have said you can park in the car park down the road mm -hmm. and just walk in and then you don't have to pay. Which is okay, but there is a sign at the pub saying for patrons only. So I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that unless we're using the pub. And if you're going to use the pub, you might as well spend the money in the car park nearer. Yeah, yeah it'd probably be So cheaper. you're not really serving, are you? <laughs> um, and there is somewhere else, a hotel or something, but... Apparently from here as well, where we're parked up here. It's like a park and yes. ride. Park and ride from here. We haven't seen any buses, but apparently so. Yeah. Um, but we've decided because it's a national trust, we're just going to join national trust, aren't we? Yes. So we've joined that. We haven't got as membership cards yet. Obviously, they're going to be posted. So we're going to have to just hope we can get in for nothing, really. We, we're trying to do it the easiest way, um, because apparently, when you get to even the centre, you then got another quite a bit of a walk. Unless if you... Explain what I'm trying to say. From the car park, it's quite a walk to the actual pillars, I think. Well, I say quite a walk. It's probably about 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. Um, or they do, like, a shuttle bus which takes you down, which is free if you're a National Trust member, which we are now. But one big problem we always have is Mazzy needs to go to the toilet very regularly <laughs> for her health issues. So that is... Too far. That's we're talking about probably two hours away from the a toilet. Which would be alright if I could book down, but if there's lots of tourists, I'm not going to be able to do that. No. <laughs> so we need to get to the quickest and least walking way to get to them. Yeah. So anyway, we're National yeah. Trust members. <laughs> we're going right now, and I'm very, very, very excited. <laughs> So we're starting this journey off this morning from a little town just outside the Giant's Causeway called Bush Mills. And we was able to stay here for nothing in the motorhome last night, wasn't we? Yeah, it was a nice, peaceful car park. We were only, only people here. Yeah. Apart from when we arrived, someone did a big right, skid around the car park. Right yeah. Drew the day as well. Put me off a bit, but no, it turned out to be all right. We're all right here, yeah. And we're only actually now four minutes drive to the Giant's Causeway, so it's a perfect place to park. Yep, two miles away. Yeah. And the little town itself was well equipped, wasn't it, babe? Everything's closed, as one of the locals told us yesterday. It Everything's closed was. this time of year, but it's got everything but you need. It had one of everything you would have needed. One pub was open, <coughs> one shop. One takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, a bit run down is the place to be honest, but it's got the Bush Mills Distillery, which is a very famous whiskey distillery, apparently. That was a bit noisy, wasn't it? Very noisy, because doing some building work there. But yeah, nice place to stop. So we've got our tickets. Hello. That's tickets, we're in. It's, so it's free for members. Uh, one pound each way each, I think, for yeah. the bus. I oh, know it's free for members though, she said, free didn't she? Free for members, but it's, yeah. This is, um, what bus are we talking about? The shuttle bus? It's like a shuttle yeah. bus takes you down there. Yeah. So we'll just read a bit of info on it first and then we can pick up an audio guide if and we want one. that's free as well, isn't it? That's free as well. Yeah, you can even have a tour if you want a tour. I think that's free. Yeah. <laughs> Bush Mills, Mazzy, that's where we've just been. We were just talking about that, Bush Mills Distillery. I think I can hear a bus. Yes. Do you want two or one? Just the word. Just, just one, one, please. Yeah. 
so it's all automatic. Just hit play to begin and then listen to the guitar. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. you can be my tour guide today. I will not make a very good tour guide, I'll be honest with you, because I don't know anything about this place. So this is the shuttle bus, I'm assuming. Yeah, free. Yeah, should we jump on then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, members. Good morning. Good morning. You've got your tickets there, look. I just need to see what's on the tickets. All oh, right, OK. Gosh, I ain't been on a bus for a while. Wonderful. Sit up in the back and be the naughty kids. To be honest, the walk itself doesn't look terrible. If you're able to do it, it's fine, isn't it? It doesn't look that far. Yeah, but why bother when you've got a bus? Because then you'd have to pay a pound each way if you're not a member. Well, you should be members at National Trust, that's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> that bus trip was definitely worth it, wasn't it? I didn't. I really didn't expect it to drop you off there. I, th I thought we'd still have a good ten minutes walk. Yeah. What are you, Mazda? Spot on. Oh wow! Look, I want to go where they are. <laughs> so there's a bit of a map here, and that's quite cool. Have you noticed the very? They're all very small little columns. Yeah. Great detail. We're not sure where we are. We think we're here because there's a passage behind us and I reckon it's that which will take us into the main part. And there's a wishing chair up there, Mazzy. I think that's what they are, Mazzy. No, I think mm -hmm. they're up here. No, um, look at it. Look at it. This is this and this is this, which would be this and that, surely. Maybe you're right. I'm think, always I right. I think you're right. I think that's the wishing chair they're on. Don't look like a chair though, does it? Look at this. Yeah. 60 kilometres to Scotland. Oh wow! 1,281 to Iceland. That's oh. where we were meant to be going, but we didn't go. We didn't get to go. Didn't get to go. We Never to mind. Cancel. We got to here instead. Yes! Dan's listening to his audio guide, being professional. We're now just going to take a walk up there, guys. I don't know if you can see the people in the distance. So here we are at the Giant's Causeway. This is so good. This is so exciting. <laughs> right, this is where, and this is a true story, Finn the Giant, there was a giant, he was 50 odd foot tall, true story, he was chased by a Scottish giant called Benning Donner Kebab from Scotland. Chased him all the way over here, over a causeway. I'll tell you about the story when we're at the shoe. If you're coming here guys, just to warn you, wear some suitable footwear. It's very slippery, rock rockery. Rockery? Is that even a word? <laughs> yeah, just wear suitable footwear. So there's a big story. Do you want the story? Yes. It's all about the giant. Right, there's a guy, an Irish guy called Finn. I say a guy, he's a giant. He's absolutely massive. I'll tell you how big in a minute. Anyway, he had a big feud going on with a giant over in Scotland, which is over there. And they were shouting at each other and roaring at each other across the sea. And they were getting really mad with Finn. The Scottish guy, by the way, was called Ben Andonna. So Finn's getting mad and he starts throwing these stones, these big pillars, uh, which are these pillars you see, what we talk about, these hexagonal things. And he was throwing them into the sea and it was making a big pathway all the way to Scotland. And Finn's getting mad and he's throwing them in the sea and he's running over this pathway which he's making gets to Scotland, sees Ben and Donna. Ben and Donna's another giant, isn't he? And he's massive, he's a lot bigger than Finn. Finn absolutely <laughs> his pants, runs back on his causeway, comes back here, and Ben and Donna starts chasing him. Anyway, he gets back, does Finn, and Finn's mother has an idea. She dresses him up as a baby, right? So Ben and Donna comes over, but sees the baby and thinks, oh my God, look at the size of that baby. If that's the size of the baby, I'm not messing with the dad. I'm out of here. So he, he ran off. But, see this here, Mazzy, this is the shoe. This is Finn's shoe, which came off when he uh, was running away from Ben and Donna. I thought we were doing a selfie. We are. <laughs> So the boot, yeah. the boot is a size 93 and a half in human size. 
that oh makes that makes Finn uh, 53 foot tall. Oh gosh! So what a giant! It was a big lad, wasn't it? Yeah. It'd stand out. You know, if if you were in a nightclub or something, you know, you'd notice him, wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that in the distance. Right in the centre, there's just one column sticking up on its own. I can't see that being there for too many more years before that comes down. We were a bit unsure about walking up to this bit because it was a bit of a hill. But it wasn't too bad, was it? No, it was fine. And it was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah. We got the selfie we wanted, which is yeah. probably going to be the thumbnail today. <laughs> Check this out. Wow. I think I'm stuck. So Mazzy wanted a picture taken up there and she can't get back down now. <laughs> See you later love. No way. Honestly it's about four foot off the ground and she can't get down. I'm not getting her. I'm not going to help her. I help her all the time. That's all I ever seem to do, you know. Like a little child. Look at her. She won't get down unless I go back and grab her hand. She would literally stay there all day. Look. I made it. Took you five minutes to get down off there. I know, because I didn't get any help, did I? So we've just got some amazing selfies up there, and I didn't realise, I've just been listening to it on the audio guide, which is very good. Get one of these if you can. Um, it's the giant's organ. Oh. Yeah, that's his organ he used to play, an organ there. 12 metres high, some of them columns. I think it said there's about 60 of them. <laughs> That's an organ, a giant's one. And if you turn up at six o'clock on Christmas morning, apparently that's the only time he plays the organ. It's the only time no one's going to come here. That's why they're saying that, isn't it? You're never going to know if he plays his organ at six o'clock in the morning on Christmas morning. Cause no one's here. They're all, they're all at home opening the presents, aren't they? Dan's gone in to get the dangerous shots. <laughs> It's too slippery and jaggedy here, guys. <laughs> You're extremely brave. Brave? Yeah. Why? To go down there. I had to get the perfect pictures for a little music montage. Some nice water splashes coming up over the octagonal columns. Right, we've saved the best bit to last. Have we? I think so. Okay, let's go look at it. What is it? The giant's Well, the bit round the corner. Yeah. Come on, then. Apparently that's a chair over there. Wishing chair. I need to do a lot of research on my audio guide because I think there's going to be in some interesting little stories and facts. But looking at it, it is, it is wonderful. We've got quite a few tourists turning up now. So apparently there's 40,000 of these columns. Wow, did you count them? Yeah, I counted them when you oh, weren't looking. 40,000 of them. Yeah. And they range from five to six to seven sided. None of them are eight sided. Oh, so they're not octagonal? No, they're not octagonal. Okay. 
the five, six or seven sided. Um, it's quite dangerous to walk on. It very is. I do like yeah. the fact that they've actually got like stewards here stood up keeping an eye on everyone because it is very dangerous to walk on. We really want to get out there but it's just, I don't know, it's a bit dangerous it, it underfoot. Because yeah. on this particular part it is literally just a big pile of boulders. I'd be alright but we know what Maz is like. So this is quite cool because this is the first time we've actually been walking on them. They're brilliant, aren't they? Yeah. You just said that'd make a nice water feature. I yeah. suppose it would in your garden, would that? Yeah, you can just walk on them, admire them. It's a shame about that in the middle, stopping the good photos. But it is pretty spectacular out here. But look at these strange rocks here as well. They look like truffles, don't they? Truffles? I've never yeah. seen a truffle, to be honest with you. They're what posh people eat, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> I've had some rum truffles, what I got from the supermarket for 25 pence the other, the other day. You didn't enjoy them though, did you? They were disgusting, Mazza. <laughs> So just to give you an idea of what it's like, I think it's about half past 11, I guess, on a Friday, January. You know, and there's a lot of people here. A lot of people here. I can imagine, like, it, it's quite hard. You're trying to get that perfect selfie, aren't you, and some really good scenic shots. Yeah. Um, I can imagine in summer, it is a nightmare. There'd be too many people around. Everybody photobombing your pictures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like over there, look, there's a group of about six with a big selfie stick. But yeah, it's spectacular. Let's try and head up there. Can we get a selfie up there? We can try. So we'll leave the video here, guys. This has been the Giant's Causeway. What an amazing place. You've got to see it. It's just the biggest tourist attraction in Ireland. Yeah. If you come to Ireland, Northern Ireland, you've got to do it once. In your lifetime, and we've done it now. Yay! We're happy. We can go now. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. See Hope you all later. You bye bye. bye. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.